not quite a classical. You probably, this might be someone playing white who's just trying to like do something. What's his rating? 1600? Okay, so he's probably not trying to go for something Smith, you know, like a uh, white number. Oh, I guess he is. That's terrible, right? Okay, so you're happy, obviously. 925 is not good. I'll go to 69. Okay, now you play h6, which is probably a waste. The fastest way to... You should be probably looking to take advantage of the fisherman's diagonal. Not by an immediate attack, but a common way to do that is with the break c5. Why does that take advantage of the bishop? Because the, the, probably the most effective way for him to deal with this is to play d5. Because he actually, in the perk, does not want you to open this diagonal and transition to like a, like a Sicilian structure where like his pieces aren't well placed. I mean, certainly with a knight on g5, what's he going to do? Take with the queen? Seems bad, right? So if you play c5, he may want to play d5, but now everybody's really silly. Oh, okay. So sometimes the best way to take advantage of it here is this break c5, and now they don't maybe have a happy choice. And unless there's some kind of tactic with takes and e5 that I'm missing. Takes, takes, I takes f7, that would be a problem. So that actually means maybe no. Somehow I don't really buy it. I feel like you should be able to serve the knight somewhere, it would be okay, but... That's interesting. Maybe he can get away with that. Although if he takes it, you might go here with tempo as well. <laughs> okay, but keep an idea, keep that idea in mind. 